Nope. I don't want anyone to see it, Emily. So this says, this is a Dell Chromebook. Just snap my fingers and magically inside it is no longer a Dell Chromebook. Let's see what we have. Look at that. I am a magic, magic man. Let's see what this message was. There's a, a hidden message here. Make sure I always throw old. Hmm, don't know. Can't read it. I got an offer of $150. The keyboard is 30. I have at least over $35. That's not expensive. <laughs> if you think that's expensive, Carrion, you need to stop buying minifigs. It's not a Chromebook. Okay, so I just we'll continue as if as if I haven't started. All right, so this is going to be part two. Actually, technically, this is part three of this, where. The first thing we tried with this, the customer brought this in, it wasn't working. We first thing we did is we swapped the CPU. We, we got no response out of the C after swapping the CPU. So we determined it has to be the motherboard. So we now have a motherboard in. We're going to try and swap that out and see if it corrects everything. So let's get this guy torn down. Of course, everything in this is in a super tight, confined space. So to get this motherboard out, let me magnetize this a little bit better. We have one, two, three, looks like four, five, six, seven screws. And of course, these are HP's ultra specific. Hey, we only use one type of screw screw. I still think HP back in the like 90s was like, you know, we're, we're only ever going to use one type of screw. Let's get a billion of them. And they're just sitting on them. And that's why they're in everything. And they're too stubborn to upgrade to regular old Phillips head screws on the back here over the VGA connector. There is a... There's a cover on the VGA connector, which you can see here. And that cover is preventing me from actually removing this. Of course, I don't know why I thought my own, my regular screwdriver would work. Of course, they are screws with this special, special head. That plate, of course, preventing anything from coming out. So now that comes up, and of course, this, this wouldn't be like a simple, like, manufacturer's build if I didn't have to remove the fan to remove the motherboard, because, you know, why? Why wouldn't you want to remove the fan if you're replacing a motherboard, right? So we got that out, Lift this up. Get that out of there. And this proprietary power connection and this four pin power connection. Get that out of there. All right. So at this point, I am not actually concerned with whether like it'll load into Windows. At this point, I am only concerned with finding out if this will just give me a video display at all. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. All right, new motherboard lined up. I'll probably actually just remove this now. There we go.
lined up. Let's get power to this. Power one. This is strange power two. And then we also have, where is it? This is for the video card. So go ahead and drop in there. Not the video card, this is that power. This, that one goes there. CPU connector. This white power connector, and this one, that's just for the front RGB. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh, that's awkward. I don't know, the front panel connected. Is that what this cable's actually for? All right. Power. Please tell me you get something different. And I get no audible post beeps either. Oh, there we go. We're posting. So it was the motherboard. Ha. Ha 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 ha. This in there. Let's see if we get to Windows. We got a post. Let's see if we can get to Windows. I swear, if it ended up being this SSD is the problem, no. we're good. It's actively posting. I can get them out of here. We are. Yep. CMOS checksum is bad, which is fine. And then we got to put all these screws back in there. The system fan. It doesn't like the fact that the that the uh, the rear fan is missing. It's like no, you have this fan out. You're going to damage the computer because it's the only method of cooling in the whole computer. Yeah, I'll figure, I'll take some time to figure out what's going on with it. It has to be one of the memory controllers. All right. The problem is I need to get this computer back to them. All right, let's shut it down, get this computer done, and then let them know they can pick it up tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. You know, visually inspecting this, I don't see anything wrong. But that doesn't mean there isn't. No, no shroud for the fan. All right, so I got the new motherboard installed and it looks like everything's working. All right, so with the new motherboard, um, it, it came in with the USB port damaged, but it's the other one. You know how on your, like, the, on the, when you brought it in, the bottom USB port was damaged? On the new one, the top one is damaged. <laughs> yeah, so it's exactly reversed. I can just, I can take the USB port off of the old motherboard and swap it over. Okay, yeah, when it's, when I get it done, I'll give you a call. All right, we're swapping the port, boys. So we'll, we'll do some soldering on this in the morning. This will be part four. our three solder wicks. All right, that's ready to go. That's ready to go. Alrighty. All right, which one of these is good? So let's do, this is the bad one. So this is bad, this is good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a test removal on this one. See how that works out. And then we're gonna, we're gonna test our solder wick. This is one of the new ones. And then this is the other of the new ones. Both of them are looking pretty good. They're still not as tight as this. But there, it's it's pretty close. 
pretty close. We're going to see. So let's start off with some flux. Grab some low melt solder. Alright, I mean, I guess let's... Actually, I need to remove... Do this in the right order now. We got the low melt on there. That, that. All that. That. Alright, we got it off of there. And... It doesn't even look like I melted any of the plastic, so that's positive. All right, let's try some of this new solder wick, see how it works out. See if it's the stuff that I want. So at least I have determined it'll be relatively, it'll be relatively easy to get this off of there. All right, let's get this other port off of the board. Cause this is the good one. And then get the bad one off of the other board and then move on Put on the 10% airflow so I don't blow this component off. I'm like 99% sure I didn't do this. But as long as I'm here, I might as well correct it, right? There you go. Beautiful. All right. Look at that, leaving it better than it came to me. At least that's my, always my goal, isn't it? All right, so USB reality, we'd want to uh, be able to see. We'll see if this will work. i never used this like this, but I don't see why it wouldn't. All right, we're good. All tested continuity. And then all that's left with this now, all we gotta do is put it back together. And we'll leave this thing plugged in and running overnight so that it charges up that uh, CMOS battery. That's it, folks. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.